Okay, taking a look at question number four, it says to find the area of the shaded region. Well, we can do a couple of different things. We can either find the area of the big parallelogram along the outside and subtract the smaller rectangle off the inside out. Or if you notice, there are two triangles there. We could also just find the area of the two triangles and they actually are the same triangle. Um, so we could find the area of one and multiply it by two. So you have a couple of different options. We're going to start with the idea of finding the area of the big parallelogram um, and subtracting off the area of the um, white one on the inside. So sorry for the, the rough coloring job there, but we're going to look at the area for the big one. Um, it's going to be the bases are nine because that's what's connected to the um, the 90 degree angle and then the height would be 7 so it's 9 times 7 base times height 9 times 7 is 63 so our area of that big piece is going to be 63 inches squared now we need to find the area of the green piece um, so that is just a, another rectangle so it's just going to be base times height and in this case it is 7 times 6 7 times 6 is 42, so our area would be 42 inches squared. Okay. Now, to find the area of the shaded region, we are going to take um, our 63 inches squared, and we're going to subtract off our 42 inches. That was the white region. And 63 minus 42 is 21, so we end up with our area equaling 21 inches squared. Okay, and that should be down in this area, 21 inches squared. And then I'm going to real quick um, show you the way of finding the other piece. Okay, so let's say we wanted to find this piece instead. Um, <clears throat> we notice down at the bottom, if you're looking at this, this triangle, uh, that this full side length is 9. The white rectangle takes up six inches, which means that this little piece here is three inches. Well, that's three inches. We already know that this piece is seven inches. Um, our, our formula for area of a triangle is one half base times height. And now we're just going to plug in that information. So our area is going to be equal to half of, let's say three is our base and seven is our height. Uh, three times seven is 21. Half of 21 is 10.5, so our area would be equal to 10.5, but that's the only the area of one triangle. So we would need to multiply that by 2, um, which if you notice, that's actually just base times height. Um, since they were two of the exact same rectangles, we wouldn't have had, or triangles, we wouldn't have even had to find half. Um, so we're going to multiply that by 2, and we would end up with 21 inches squared. So... Same solution either way you solve it. If you guys have any questions on number four, please feel free to email me.